Hi everyone, welcome to Good Thing, Bad Thing, the weekly show with good things and bad things in it. <laughs> so Adam... Um, I wonder what your bad thing is. What's your good thing? Mm. What was my good thing? I had one. Okay, I remember. Was it all the nummy food I brought you? No. It wasn't the pork chops? No, but those were a really good thing. Mm. Those, yeah, he made some very yummy pork chops, I gotta say. Oh well, yeah, we have to remember we're doing we're doing the Oreo cookie thing. Are too. we still doing the Oreo we cookie? We should. Thing? We should. We shouldn't always leave our viewers on a down note. I mean, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with a little sadness every now and then? So my good thing, it's I think it's been done before, but that's okay. It's a small little good thing. I was in the cheating. north end of our community today, and we have one Indian restaurant in the whole place, and it's up there. And uh, well, technically, I was there a day or two ago, but I picked up. I picked up a nice big order, not my giant catering order yeah, from the, last the time. Big one. A reasonable order. Two meals, but the reality is that it's like that's really three, three or four. It's three for me at least. At least three. I might be able to get four out of it if I if I try. They're like really good. Like they don't let people into their restaurant at all, but they will escort uh, the food out to you. And it's kind of cool because you have like drive-by food innings, like cars roll up right in front dial the number quick and somebody like hops out bundled up with gloves and things and the reality is I think one of the owners or or major workers there is probably highly at risk because they're taking yeah, it so like, seriously. Yeah, they're like the only restaurant I can think of that is taking it that seriously still. All of the other restaurants around here were just like, fuck it, why not endanger our customers and our employees? So I like to get up there and support them and it's really good food and yeah, it made me happy. Especially because at the time like our larder was pretty much bare. Yeah. And we had gone a long time, our, our local Aldi was closed for renovation, so we had gone a long time without shopping. Yeah. Alright, my good thing, and thanks to Adam for not stealing it from me, was that last night was Halloween, and um, we managed to get together uh, online, not in person, with several of our close friends and just hung out and ate candy and watched a movie and did some, like played Too a couple little candy. fun games. You're a horrible influence. So much candy. Well, you're the one who bought most of the candy. I haven't really had like a video chat with with my friends since the pandemic started because our internet is balls, as you know. So we had to go into town to Adam's office to do it. People are talking to me on my Facebook. And ferrets are running loose. It's just noisy in here tonight. Mayhem. All right, Adam, what's your bad Rotting thing? Rotting mustelids of mayhem. Those aren't your bad thing. What's your bad thing? My bad thing is that Starlink has gone into its second round of beta. It's public beta, and we are a few degrees longitude. I think I'm getting the right one, but I'm dyslexic and I mix them up. Too short from, or too far away from getting into this round of Starlink better internet. So this makes me sad. We may have at least until the early spring or early summer to get it expanded to our area. But I'm keeping my fingers crossed and like they are getting mixed reviews and it is labeled as the it's better than nothing in internet. Yay? But I mean the reality is is like they're still setting things up. They, their constellation is not anywhere near as big as they'd like um, and it's it is significantly cheaper than previous satellite options that we have tried with significantly better latency and significantly better bandwidth at a cheaper price. Mm -hmm. There's a ferret trying to crawl out of the couch right behind you, I hear her. <laughs> so yes, we have not gotten our hands on better internet yet. And it might be a, a minute before we do. That's poopy. But there are ferrets in the couch. <laughs> My bad thing is also very predictable, at least if you're Adam. Uh, it, daylight savings time ended or started. I don't know how it works. It flipped. It flipped. Daylight savings time flipped. So we fall back. I gained an hour of sleeping in, which my brain wouldn't even let me do this morning. So it's completely wasted. And then in exchange, it's dark an hour sooner at night, which means a lot of things. One, that my uh, mental illness is going to be worse because I struggle when it's when there's no sunlight. And two, that like if there's a nice day and I think, oh, I'd love to ride my horse when I get home. I can't do it because by the time I get home from work, I'd essentially have to leap right out of my vehicle and onto the horse to have any time to ride her before it gets fucking dark. And that's just not a good time and very depressing and I hate it every year. I'm, I w I'm not ready. I was not 
ready for it as usual. Yeah, we and made potential like, plans to ride weekdays this week. We arbitrarily switched our clocks for no good reason. Hi. <laughs> I can't, I don't know, think, I don't know, think it's, it looks like she's climbing up your butt. <laughs> Avi, will you come out of the cup, please? I do wish, Duck. You're so silly. You're such a silly girl. Yes, you are. You're so silly. Do you have the hiccups? The favorite hiccups. All right, we had to take a brief favorite break to free Avi from the couch, but we're back. We are back. I was just bitching about the daylight savings time thing and how so stupid it is. I've, I've signed a petition it. with change.org. <clears throat> don't know if it's going to do anything, but I signed it. So I guess, what is our Oreo cookie second hmm. good thing? Our aliveness may be somebody's bad thing, but I guess it's a good thing. As a millennial, I feel that I am obligated to say that it's only an okay thing, really. <laughs> our Aldi's has reopened, and we can restock our larders, and it's like our favorite store, more or less. It is, it's although bad. I'm going to have anxiety the first couple of times I go in, because it's going to be set up differently, and I kind of count on Aldi to be, like, fairly the same every time, so I can just, like... Uh, when your favorite grocery store is closed down, what are you supposed to do? You run out of food. It's horrible. You run out of food. I know so many people who are like you. I, I say we well, you shop. We shop at Aldi. We pretty much exclusively shop at Aldi, except for a few name brand things that we have to get at other stores. Like horse grain. Like horse grain, and um, Aldi's doesn't carry that apparently. And certain types of cat food and stuff. The a lot of people that I know who are on a budget are like, well, I shop at Festival. I shop at Pick and Save. And I'm like, well, shop at Aldi, you'll get, like, way more food for the same amount of money. Like, when we used to go, kind of, we'd go shopping at Aldi and do our big shopping, and then we'd pop over to a nearby Pick and Save, and we'd spend almost as much money on at Pick and Save on a few things as we spent at Aldi on our month's worth of shopping. That's how much money you save. So, I, I mean, if you're, if you're on the fence and you're like, I'm really on a budget, just bite the bullet and shop at Aldi. The stuff is, for the most part, just as good. There's like a few things that you learn that, oh, I don't like the Aldi brand of this, so I'm going to get it elsewhere. But you just learn what you like and what you don't like from Aldi, and then you go from there. And they have so much good stuff, mm -hmm. so. Because they have had alternative food products for much longer and have, a, generally have, speaking, a better selection. Like, they have so much gluten-free yeah, stuff. Yeah, they have a ton of gluten-free, a ton of vegetarian. Mm -hmm. No coupon clipping required. All right, that was our Aldi speech. <laughs> Thank you for coming to that. Aldi, sponsor me. Sponsor me, Aldi. <laughs> Let's get that sponsorship going. Sponsor my channel, Aldi. All right, this was a long and rambly good thing, bad thing. Thank you for watching if you did and please remember to leave your good thing and your bad thing in the comments below We're probably just gonna keep doing this as long as the apocalypse lasts. There's a fucking fly in here There is. I thought that was gonna be your bad thing. No Look at it outside. <laughs> How could that not be my bad thing? It's only 630 and I am already ready for bed <laughs> I hate it. Sorry. And then you add snow. It'll make it brighter out. Think how bright it would be out there with snow and our blue moon. Marginally brighter. <laughs>